It's Friday morning. It's about the second or third week in April 2015. I don't know how I'm going to run the camera today. I'm by myself. No Tom, bro. Really miss my brother. But maybe he'll send me some good luck and I'll catch a big crappie today. I usually do pretty good out here on Wilson Mills in the summer. August is my best month, early September. That's when the fish are all in the deep holes. This time of year, water temperature is 64 degrees. Crappie ought to be up on the edges spawning. But there's hundreds of acres of good looking water out here. Just all kinds of cover along the shoreline. Finding that one little school is going to be hard. Okay, we'll right, see what Wilson happens. Mills Reservoir. First fish of the day, bluegill. Came out of about three and a half feet of water. Water temperature is up to 65 in here. Just look at all that brush. It just, it's so hard to fish because there's so much of it. These fish could be anywhere. But we'll keep probing. Yep. Looks like I got a nibble here. Feels like a crappy too. Let's see what we got here. Oh, a nice crappy. That's what I'm talking about. Come on up here. Speckled perch. Yeah. Check it out. Yellow perch. Been out here about 20 minutes, I guess. So far, I've caught a brim. Crappy, and now this yellow perch. It's good eating, but I don't like cleaning. As you can see, there's a lot of snot grass in this lake. If you're new to fishing, especially if you're brim fishing with little jigs and stuff, it's really important to get all this hair off of here. Otherwise, the blade's not going to turn properly. And if you're fishing with just a regular jig, say a 16th ounce head like I use, uh, it may actually affect the, uh, the action of that lure. So every cast, take a look at it. Make sure the thing's not fouled. Clean it off. Another tip is learn how to cast. Now, I'm pretty old. Mostly I'm just trolling because I don't want to make 500 casts today. Look at that mess. That's real obvious, but sometimes just that little bit of hair on there, that little bit of grass can really mess up your action. But uh, as I was saying, I don't do much casting these days unless I hit a pocket of fish. I find I can get on them quicker if I just troll around. That keeps my lure in the, uh, in the strike zone. Today I'm looking, I don't have any hot spots in mind. I'm out here at Wilson Mills and it's such a big lake. I feel like the, uh, the fish are gonna be up shallow. So what I've done is I've decided to come into this cove. It's probably an acre and a half. And I'll just, uh, in my mind, pretend this is a farm pond. And I'll work this pretty thoroughly and hopefully I'll get on some fish that will give me a pattern. You know, they could be on these, uh, these bushes, they could be on some rocks, or uh, piles of cattail. Once I find the pattern, then I can get on out and start searching for those similar attributes. And sometimes that's all it takes to have a really nice fishing day. Another good tip about trolling for these crappies is to pay attention to your speed. I'm using a uh, 40 pound Minn Kota with my little uh, Tritanic here, 10 foot boat, plastic boat. And uh, most of the time I'll troll at speed number one. That's pretty slow. That's as slow as it'll go. And when I'm fishing with a, a jig, I don't know if you can see that thing wiggling around, uh, that's about a 16th ounce head, two inch curly tail grub on it. Um, when I fish with that, low speed, 
no wind, I usually get down around five or six feet deep. I may be in 10 or 20 feet of water, but I, that's usually about how deep I fish for most of these things. However, when you're in a cove like I'm in now, when you know you got a lot of snot grass in it, you start getting up less than four feet deep, uh, go ahead and kick her up to speed two or three. That will bring your, your lure higher up in the water column and hopefully skim across the top of that trash. We'll see if there's any more tips as we go along. This is a beautiful day for a boat ride. Water slick as glass. I don't know if that makes it better fishing or worse fishing. I do know that if you're in a small boat, especially a aluminum John boat, and you're trolling against the waves, you know, against the chalk, it's going to be slap. That boat's going to be slapping the surface, making all kinds of noises. So keep that in mind if you're trolling shallow water, say uh, five or six feet depth in a chop. Uh, you may be scaring all the fish before your lure comes into their zone. That might be a situation where you want to just run up wind and then troll slowly back down sea. Well, I went into this little cove and couldn't get very far into it because of all the snot grass. Yeah, you couldn't even run the motor in there. So we'll go check out something else. If I was in a typical North Carolina reservoir, there would be defined creeks with points, secondary points, little feeder streams, but this is more like a swamp down here. This is the flatlands of North Carolina around Wilson. I don't even know why there's holes in this place. Like somebody took a submarine and excavated it. No real creek channels to speak of. At least none that go very far. So we'll just probe around and see what happens here. I checked the weather last night and again this morning before I left home. Got a drop of rain forecast. Here I am, raining pretty good today. Of course, I didn't bring my rain suit knowing that it wasn't going to rain, but that's okay. My middle name is Rain Man. But apparently there's enough to get the water flowing. I'm going up some kind of creek here. I don't know. I'm on the northwest, west-northwest side of this Wilson Mills Reservoir. You can get really lost out here. It's just miles and miles of twists and turns, little creek channels, canals. I don't know what it is. It's just a labyrinth. But I noticed the water was starting to get stained, and uh, there's a couple of mile an hour current, uh, enough to create small whirlpools. So I'm going to follow the current upstream and see what I find up here. If my battery goes dead, it'd be easy to paddle back. Easier to paddle back than it would be to go up. I got this thing almost on high, and I'm barely creeping up this creek. So we'll see what's around the next bend. Now here's a decision. Which way to go? Looks like a creek over that way and one over this way. May as well head the way I'm pointing. All wrapped up in the weeds. Yeah, that's what it is. Got a bass. Sure have caught a lot of different fish today. I've only caught about four or five crappy. A couple dozen brim. I went up the river, went way the hell back, this little creek, and I'll be darned if there wasn't two people fishing off the bank back there. I have no clue how they got out there. I'm catching a lot of fish. I trolled around here, and just about every time I troll 100 yards, I'll catch one or two. But I threw a buoy out. I don't know if you can see that orange buoy. X marks the spot. 